Hello everyone, welcome to the extension video on Snowpro Core Certification Series. In this video, we are going to discuss about two important things. This is based on the request from most of you. So for that reason, I am just trying to cover those two aspects alone in this video. First aspect is on how I can book for the exam. Say if you are using my series of videos in YouTube to prepare for the Snow Pro course certification, once you prepare and then if you can take some practice exams on Udemy, you are ready for the exam. How I can book for the exam? For that reason, I am just putting together what is the process which you need to do. The second important thing is the content which is used for this course. Actually on the series of 28 videos there are lot of PPT presentations are used. What I did for easy consumption, I just created a series of blocks which contains all the informations which are discussed during the course of videos. So for your easy reference and those things, those blocks can be very very handy. First of all, let us see how we can register for the snowflake exam. What you do, simple Google search, you go to Google and then you can just type in snowflake certification. In this there is a link for that learn.snowflake.com. If you click on that there is a button called register now. Once you click on that register now button it will take you through the search metrics portal. That portal looks like this. Actually, I already logged in. If you are a new user, there is an option to create a new account. You give your email ID and all these details. Then you will be signed in here. And this is just the dashboard which contains all the details and the announcements from the snowflake as well will be there become a snowflake snow pro xme all these things are there right in this my profile once you get into it you can update all these things your name address and additional information and all the details here then the important part is the schedule and manage exams now if you see i just clicked on the manage exams here are the list of exams since i already passed the snow pro core and the snow pro advanced target exams those exams are not visible here only the other exams like advanced administrator data analyst data engineer and data scientist is available and then the practice exam is also available now just for the understanding purpose i'm just going in and then i'm clicking on the register button here this will take some time once that is that this is already authorized then you can click on the schedule it will open up the pearson metrics for you so this Pearson is the portal. Uh, as you know, if you are a vivid exam taker, there are multiple portals which are available. Some is PSI, some is Pearson, but most of the exams are via the Pearson only. Now, if you see, I just logged into the Pearson. I always, it's like depends on how you are going to take the exam. If you want to take the exam from your home, you just select this one view. This will install some secure browser, all the prerequisites you need to complete. Then you can take the exam from home. But predominantly, I always recommend people to take it in the exam center because it is very, very hassle free. Since, since uh, I will select this one and then it will keep on asking me what are all the photo ID which they can expect, personal items and all these details. Then based on your location, it will then prompt you with the subsequent things. Here, this is the admission policy. I click on agree and then these are all the ones since I am residing in Chennai. This is showing me the exam centers which are available nearer to me. Based on your location availability, you select the exam center. Right, I am just selecting the Blue Lotus Technologies Private Limited. In fact, this is one of the good exam centers in Chennai. And then I am clicking on next. Then it will tell me the what is the schedule and all. So I am just scheduling it randomly. I am selecting that and then it will explore for the time options as well. You can explore more times. All these details are available based on your comfortability. You can select the time just for demo purposes. I am just going in through. Right, once I click on all these details, it will finally land me to this one. Uh, this is the price amount and all these things. If you click on proceed to checkout, that is the place where you need to give your credit card or debit card details. And then once you finish it off, you will receive the email with all the relevant information. At the time of the exam appointment, you need to go to the exam center, say like some 15 or 20 minutes prior to that. And then you can um, go, the, go ahead and sit for the exam in exam center. Same 
thing happens for your uh, work from home it is like more of taking exam from home option similarly you can log in to that uh, pearson secure browser 15 or 20 minutes earlier you will be put on queue and then the proctor will come in they will check your space and all the details once everything is good then they can release your exam so this is the procedure on which you need to schedule your exam now coming to the second aspect of whatever the blocks which I already discussed, all the things which are discussed as the part of the videos are available as the part of the series of 17 blocks. You can see all the series of 17 blocks in here. This is under my profile. So what I did is this is just the first blog where all the details which are covered as the part of the video is available in here easy for your reference you can just go through the set of blocks actually there are some good enthusiasts who already bookmarked or already highlighted some of the details in my blog for their easy reference actually right this will be easy for you as well and also the details of the videos are as well added to these blogs for easy reference so the next blog link is available at the bottom of the each and every blog so this is the first blog this is the link to second block this is the second blog at the bottom you will find a link to the third blog so similarly it goes on on and on until you will find all the 17 blogs there so this is very useful for people who want to refer to the contents which are already discussed or if you are a vivid reader kind of a person instead of watching the series of videos you can read through all these contents and then you can very well prepare for your exam so with this i am just concluding this video i hope this video has been informative for you we'll look forward to see you in the next video.